Hello, welcome to episode three of Ag Ed 530. And Ag Ed 530 is the teaching and learning in agri-science class. We're trying to help people be rock star faculty members in the agricultural sciences, pretty much the fundamental industry of America, food, fiber, and natural resources. We have an eclectic class and we're having a lot of fun. And we do these periscope reflections so that we can take a moment to reflect on how the teaching went and what we can do better. Let's look a little bit at some of the th fun things that happened. First, we see our ticket outs. Look at the great things that we're learning. Components of learning, elements of a lesson plan, mnemonic devices, how to write awesome objectives, critical things. Now, Dr. Jackson, what do you have? Well, a um, little bit of fatigue at the end of lesson three, but um, Dr. Foster uses some really cool hands-on things to illustrate um, the idea that we think at different levels. And so, he uses these in his instructional practice. I've used other things. There's, these are cool devices. But what these illustrate is in a class, you could have students at, what is this, Daniel? So the knowledge level. And so the basic level of the introductory to taxonomy, and then we have comprehension and then application. I want everybody to notice how nice those were. Look at that, she put the right one on as we stay. Isn't that fun? <laughs> So, I had help. Had help as we worked through. Mickey was there to help us today. Um, and I do think, Kathy, that our students are at the knowledge and comprehension level right now about feeling confident in their skin as an instructor. What do you think? Almost definitely. Some of them have their only um, teaching experiences they feel comfortable talk about or might be um, very useful teaching experiences, but they don't yet quite own them as teaching. Are you finding that to be the case? And so how I think a big part of the course is developing that identity and giving them the tools and knowing that there's not just one right answer. There's not one template of a great teacher. Now, to dig in deeper, everybody needs to find what their passion is and how they can share it with students. But to dig in deeper to this session, I'm going to go ahead and be honest. Uh, I'm, we missed the mark as far as timing. And that's to be expected and to learn. Uh, we talk a lot in the course that... Uh, and I credit Dr. L.H. Newcomb from Ohio State for sharing this. Cats cover things in litter boxes. We don't cover things in class. So that means we go at a rate that's appropriate for the students to learn something. And today we digged into learning objectives and lesson plans. And we were supposed to get to assessment. But we'll get to we it next time. We touched on it. We touched on it. That's enough. We, got, we did a teaser for next week. Is that <laughs> we, next week? That is next week, and we do do teasers, don't we? And as we build the class up and looking ahead, I'm excited to see how... Uh, we can continue to build a strong learning environment. I think that because of the structured learning um, activities that we're doing, we're making them talk to each other. And so I see them feeling more and more uncomfortable, hopefully Maybe this year. Maybe you're encouraging them. Well, that's a great question. Jackson, uh, what do you think? Am I making or encouraging? Because you watch a lot. I think there's both going on. <laughs> because anytime we have to admit in front of a group of people we don't understand something, there's some discomfort with that. And we have to really wrestle, is that a bad thing or a good thing? And I think that we have done a good job of scaffolding it up to where we're not asking to do that perhaps in front of the whole class, but first in pairs or in pods, uh, writing down individually, reflecting and building up. Uh, as we look forward, our next session is going to be on um, assessment as we, and knowing prior knowledge on where content and the learner meets. We're building up to two sessions from now because this is a class preparing future instructors for all environments, at least exposing. I think that might be the most word, better word. So we're going to do an asynchronous learning session and a synchronous learning session online so they can at least have a little bit of experience there. And actually, I have a feeling that many of them have already experienced online courses as a learner. And so I'm looking forward to engaging in that conversation and sharing. Thanks for tuning in to Confessions of a Teacher Educator. We'll see you next time.